after this video, we're going to be aligned. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together, and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In a prior episode, we talked about the alignment issues of an eBay K40 laser and the gantry setup. So one of the things which I've done, as I mentioned in the last video, I've rebuilt this total assembly over here. So I placed new screws in here, better screws to hold the uh, tensioner for the pulley that comes back here. So this is the tensioner up inside here. Um, and I showed that in the last video, and I probably put an overlay in this one too. And so I replaced those, so those don't come loose and fall out, because as you remember from the prior video, one was actually missing. The other piece too on the wheels, there's a bottom wheel and a top wheel. I again, they had these crappy little screws in them, and I replaced them. These are number two screws. I replaced them with hex. I've also put a washer and a nylon retaining uh, washer on here too to kind of shim it out a little bit. Now what happens is this one down here keeps the uh, gantry from lifting up but what happens is it simply rests on this piece, this rail right here. So you don't want to push this one down, it just sits there and rides on it. This one is actually a metal wheel, this one is a nylon bushing wheel. So kind of strange, but that's the way it works. So one of the things I did in the last video is I used my calibers with this extension to measure both sides. So I now have them square because one of the big problems I was having as the head moved this way, the, because it ran up two millimeters, the beam would actually drop and miss this whole uh, laser head assembly. So now I have this all trued up and that's great. So the other piece I had to do is also align the Y axis because when this came forward and stopped, this was several millimeters back from this. So what I did is actually just took a metal ruler, measured to the front lip here, measured to the front lip here, released the belt, because the belt actually, if I don't get my mirror caught up in here, let's get that out of the way. So you see these retainers back here actually are the tensioners for the belt on either side. So you simply loosen this one up, move the gantry forward into position, and then tighten them back up. And then Bob's your uncle and everything is squared up. So right now, basically I've got everything square in this gantry. Now, when I go put it back in the sheet metal enclosure, I'm still going to have to do more work on ensuring that this whole gantry itself is actually level. Back a couple years ago, I actually had to print some 3D spacers to lift up the front because what was happening is the sheet metal was spot welded in there ineffectively and so it ran downhill. So when I go to put this back in the machine, I'm going to have to measure the level to the sheet metal. You know, be careful that you have it on a level surface, and then I'm going to probably have to shim this up a little bit. Because as I mentioned, you have your laser tube back over here, you have your first order mirror striking your second, and if this whole gantry is running downhill, as you move this way, what's going to happen is the beam is going to move up and then eventually away from the center of the mirror and create problems. So you need to make sure that this is all square inside of the machine. Now, you can typically use washers on the, the back or the front. What I actually did is 3D printed shims to the exact size or washers, if you will, and inserted them underneath this gantry to level it or the gantry on the other machine I did. So I'm going to check the same here and see what I have to do. But again, I wanted to share this with you. So again, if you really want to get the most out of your eBay K40 laser, alignment is critical. You know, again, alignment in the X, alignment in the Y, and alignment of the gantry going in. Now, also, make sure your tube and everything in the back is also aligned. Again, this is all held in place by sheet metal, which is really crappily welded. And so you might run into a lot of issues. I know on both of my K40s, I've had issues, so I've had a correct. So hopefully, if you're pulling your hair out with your K40 laser uh, because you just can't get it to work the way you think, again, alignment is probably, you know, what's wrong. So hopefully you found this video of value. If you did, big thumbs up. Don't mind the dirty hands. This has been filthy. Swag shop up there. Subscribe over there. And we'll catch you guys in the next video where we do something else cool with this. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. We'll catch you later. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.